In this video today, we're going to continue the scary facts and delve in to some more absolutely horrific things that have been documented in history. Now, if you're new to my channel and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications for all this dark, creepy information that I bring to you in my videos as well as a disturbing drawing that is generated in my mind from the particular thing that I'm talking about. For all you existing subscribers, thank you for sticking around and being a like-minded sick person that you are and I love you. Now I'm going to talk about one of the most gruesome and one of the worst ways to be executed that was ever created in history and that is called scaphism. Now if you're unfamiliar with scaphism it is also known as the boats and here is why it is named that. Now it looks like that the ancient Persians created this method of torture um, and execution and it was probably around 500 BC that this particular method came into existence. Now scaphism is an extremely slow and sadistic way to die and it involves a person being placed between two boats. Uh, so they, they lay down in the boat and their arms and legs are exposed. Then what they do is they put another boat on top and this allows, this well, this doesn't allow the person to move. They are trapped basically. So this method has been used with boats, obviously, because it's what it's mainly, you know, was mainly centered around. But if they didn't have boats, what they would do is they would find really big trees, hollow out trees, make them like a boat so they floated, and then they would then stick the person inside that, and then obviously put the lid on, like say cut a really big tree in half, um, yeah, hollow it out, Put the two pieces together make sure the arms legs and sometimes the heads exposed and yeah push them out onto a river a swamp and yeah that's how they would do it now what they would do as well to add um <laughs> fuel to the fire is they would force feed these people uh milk and honey now what they would do is they would do that over a course of several days until this person died. Now what milk and honey does is it creates a laxative effect and what it then does for the person is it makes them sick as well like it's not the best thing to just be fed for days on end. So not only are you shitting yourself in one area and you're spewing on yourself um, so you, you, you're then laying in it and you're covered in in just disgusting bodily fluids and then what happens then is this then attracts rodents and insects so most of the time the person is floating out on a swamp uh, or on a lake or wherever their this location is that they're being executed they then every couple of hours bring this person in force feed them milk and honey send them back out for another couple of hours and this is just repeated until they die so because they were covered in milk and honey in their own uh, body fluids what this would then attract is rats ants, wasps, worms, maggots, and then the victim would be eaten alive. Now, what happens when you're in your own filth is that you have insects that lay larva in 
all the disgusting stuff that is around your body then these things then burrow into you uh, so you've got insects that are eating you basically alive from the inside out a lot of cases have claimed that insects have crawled up into the uh, the butt of the person uh, they have laid eggs in their eyes they've crawled in their nose their ears because you got to remember your hands are tired and your feet are tied you can't move like you are unable to do anything you can't even scratch an itch so can you imagine you, you can't move and you've got these things crawling up inside you or you know crawling inside you and laying eggs and then when the eggs hatch you've got these things eating you alive um, you know ugh, I don't even want to think about it so you've got rats gnawing at the victim then you've got lesions that start then you get infection and uh, then you are prone to sepsis and all that other good stuff that comes along with this your flesh starts to rot and you know bacteria starts to form and then once this happens yeah you become sick and die sometimes it can take days sometimes it takes weeks for people to die with this method of execution the longest time for someone to die from this method was 17 days 17 days of this shit all I can say is whoever invented this way to die execution is one sick person like they need help so with the illustration that I did for this video and for scaphism, I basically, I just went with a monster laying in a boat that is trapped up under the, um, the boards of the boat and is tied there via his arms and his mouth. Got a lot of holes in him because obviously these are the things that have burrowed into him, eaten, um, you know, eaten into his skin. And then there's some like creepy creature type worm things coming out of some of the holes there is uh he's only just got a torso then a lot of his like gizzards and uh, a lot of his stomach and uh, intestines and grossness is hanging down to once again show that you know he's being eaten he's basically being eaten alive and uh yeah just floating there on some water and um yeah in the worst shape possible now i didn't do a 3d illustration for this one because i just wasn't feeling it yeah the one thing i wasn't a big fan of with this illustration is um the way i did the water and the ripples like i've done ripples better than that and i sort of just thought oh god that was probably a big mistake i should just left it plain blue and then be done with it but i ended up going with what i did and you know just probably the only thing that I really 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 regret other than the fact that um, there is a lot of colors in uh, a lot of same colors in this piece and it sort of blends in a little bit together and I tried my best to sort of refine some things with it but yeah just similar colors that I like to use do sort of blend in together and I just try to separate it with with the pencil with the shading so yeah hopefully you have learned a little bit about scaphism and how terrifying history is with a lot of their execution methods and I'm going to be looking into a lot of other torture methods to see what other disgusting horrible things that um, have been invented <laughs> to to execute people in the most worst way possible um, and then yeah I will let you guys know about it because um, yeah history is interesting it's completely fucked up but it's interesting so yeah that is it from me and uh, I will see you guys in the next one bye